Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to talk about something really fun, and that's how to play Xbox games on your Microsoft Duo. So yes, the Microsoft Duo is all about productivity, it's all about work, it's all about really cool stuff with two screens, but it's also all about play. It's made by Microsoft after all, so of course they built in the ability to be able to connect your Xbox controller and you can use Microsoft Xbox Game Pass so you can play games on the cloud, which is really cool. You can play Forza, you can play Dead by Daylight. There's a whole list of games that you have access to right at the palm of your hands with these two guys. And I'm gonna tell you how to set it up and I'm gonna do a walkthrough and show you how to connect your controller and how to go through the steps so you too can play some really cool games on your Surface Duo. But before we get into that, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's get to gaming. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and get out our Microsoft Surface Duo. Ta-da! And I've got this really nice matte uh, screen protector on here now, which I'm actually going to make a video about as well. But uh, yeah, here we go. So to get everything set up, of course, you need Microsoft Game Pass. So, or Xbox Game Pass, sorry. To get there, of course, you go into the Android App Store and you go to Game Pass. There we go. So once you type that in, it's this one right here, Xbox Game Pass. I've already got mine set up. So you would click on install instead of open, of course. And if you've already got it installed, if you haven't updated yet, make sure you do that because there was an update today for September 15th to make it to where it will work with the cloud gaming. Otherwise, you're going to load the game up and you're not going to see the cloud gaming option. So we've got the app. Now we need to make sure we have an Xbox controller. And I believe it's compatible with other Bluetooth controllers as well. So you should be able to do that without any issue. I know there's some third party ones, especially a Razer one that's really cool. So first thing we'll do is connect the controller because you can't use Xbox Game Pass without uh, the controller. So we'll swipe this down, go to Bluetooth right here, just press and hold it and it'll pull up the Bluetooth menu. Now you see I've got my Xbox wireless control there already paired, but I'm going to forget it just so I can show you how to do this. So click on pair new device, get your Xbox controller, press the button up top so that the Xbox symbol starts flashing and then you'll see it pull up right here. Available devices, Xbox wireless controller, just tap on it and then it's gonna ask you for access to your contacts and your call history. Why a controller needs that, I don't know, but as part of the process, you'll see here that we are connected. All right, now that we've got the controller set up, we've got Game Pass installed, we are ready to go. So go ahead and click on Game Pass. And the cool thing is, is Game Pass also works with your PC and it works with your Xbox. You can actually connect it to your Xbox and install games that way straight to your PC and have or your PC or your Xbox. It's really neat. So here's the important update that came out with. Now we have the cloud gaming available. You don't have to have this in beta anymore. It's available for, for everybody. So once you click on cloud, See, here's your other options, console, PC, but this is what's important for playing them on the phone. We've got Forza 4, we've got uh, After Party, we've got Dead by Daylight, really like that game. Uh, and of course, we've got Halo here. So let's click on Halo. I, I want to play that one. So now the game is loading. Now, while it's loading, I just want to talk about positional uh, settings for the Duo itself. You can put it uh, you can play it, of course, like this, and then if you want, you can set it up and turn it up that way to where you have one screen down at the bottom as a stand, and then you have the other screen right here, so you can play on top, kind of like a propped up TV, and then you can flip it around like this as well, and play it in tent mode. I'm not really sure where it went. There we go. So we got tent mode as well. So really cool. I like the way that this works because this is so much better than using like a normal phone. You don't have to have the phone connected to like the controller mount, any of that crazy stuff. You can just set it up just like this. And I mean, we can play Halo on our Microsoft Surface Duo, which I think is just the absolute bee's knees. So really cool. Um, of course, your experience really depends on your internet connection. I have this on LTE right now. 
Uh, my Wi-Fi was being janky, so I disconnected it from the Wi-Fi. But as long as you have a really strong LTE connection, if you have 5G, or if you're connected to your Wi-Fi and have a good high-speed internet connection at home, then you can play. So this is really cool. Like I said, it's really just like having an Xbox um, in your pocket, I mean, on your phone. Uh, yes, it does eat up the battery more, uh, but, I mean, plug it in if you need to. This is, I think this is just really cool. And... <laughs> If you're like me and you grew up playing the Halo games, this is kind of like a dream come true, being able to play the Halo Master Chief Collection on your phone. And then there's other great games as well. So I really just wanted to show this off and show you how it works, how to get it set up, how to get it going. That way you don't have to worry about going and doing all the research I had to and trying to figure everything out just to get it set up. All right, so pretty cool, huh? It's really nice to be able to have this option. Uh, a lot of people that probably are interested in the Surface Duo you may need to do things while you're traveling, on the go, away from home, away from your beloved Xbox if you like to play video games while you're at home, or if you just want to give it a whirl now. This is a really cool option because it's kind of like having an Xbox One X in your pocket. I really like it. I think that it's a cool feature. And as we walk through the steps and we looked at it, it's really not too terribly difficult to set up. And then you can get an action really quick. Yes, of course, you have to pay for the Game Pass subscription. I pay for the Microsoft... Um, Xbox Live subscription, the ultimate one where it's included in there, because you can also use Game Pass on your PC. So you can play like Microsoft Flight Simulator and Halo right on your PC, and you can play it on your phone. So I really think that it's worth it. A couple bucks more extra than the normal Xbox Live, and no, I'm not being paid for this. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just making it because one, I'm a tech nerd, I like the phone, I like games, and I thought this would be helpful because it wasn't the most simplistic or easy thing to figure out especially because it was beta only up until today, September the 15th. So I wanted to let you all know that it's available, it's running, how it works, and how to do it. So that's all I've got. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.